I'm here with Diana De La Garza. She is the mother of superstar Demi Lovato, whose powerful new memoir, Falling with Wings, is a candid look at the struggle, the fame, and the toll of addiction and mental illness. An incredible redemption and love that's possible with the help of your family. Diana, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Great to have thank you. Thank you for having me. And the name of your book is called Falling with Wings. So what does that title mean to you? How did you come up with that? The very last sentence of the book uh, makes a statement. It says, despite how far and how hard we had fallen mm -hmm. as a family, we had restored our wings at, through therapy and were able to soar toward a brighter future as a family together. And it seemed like you had it all together. You have kids who were successful and, and on their way up in the entertainment business. And you thought success was like a formula. Stardom led to money and happiness and all those things. But what was the reality? of it. I was totally wrong on everything that I thought in the beginning. I think more the reality for me today is being mentally and physically healthy plus being able to work a job that you truly love every day of your life. That's what I think really equals happiness. And in the right yes, I agree 100%. And writing, writing a book is one of the most personal things you can do. Yeah. It, it, what gave you the courage to share this with everybody? Well, I think Demi's the one that gave me the courage to, because she, she was being so open and honest and vocal about her struggles. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I saw how much it was helping people everywhere. And, you know, I thought when I was writing my book, I thought I want to be honest and open and tell the whole story. And I want to be a part of that. And, so that's why I did it. And what do you think triggered some of your personal struggles? I mean, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what brings out an eating disorder mm -hmm. or, you know, I, I think that um, possibly being brought up in a very strict environment, I kind of set goals that were really almost unattainable for myself at a young age, you know, trying to be perfect and keep everyone happy. And I think that my eating disorder uh, was sort of a way to gain back some of that control that I felt like I didn't have. And that makes sense to people who have eating disorders. So I, I think that, you know, there were also other things that happened to me along the way mm -hmm. in, you know, in my first marriage and all the way through to the time I went into treatment. And, and you say in the book, speaking of treatment, you say in the book that you hardly recognize the woman who went into treatment in 2011. Yeah. So, so tell us about then versus now. I think the woman that went into treatment when I finally did accept help, I think she was just a really broken, tired, you know, just a, a really sick girl. And now our lives are so different. I mean, we're healthy, we're happy, we're still going to therapy. You know, I have a great relationship with food. Um, just all the things that we've been working on, I think that that's the strong person I am today. And you talked about getting through this with family yeah. and with love. Yeah. And, and we have someone here who is family, who does love you, who wants to come out and talk with us as well. Yeah. So we're gonna welcome out your daughter, Demi Lovato. <laughs> your mom like how to get, get things right <laughs> and, and Demi thank you thank you for joining us oh gosh, this course. morning with your mother and and you you even said it, life has changed so much since your mother entered treatment in 2011 and how has it changed for you what changes have you seen in your mom the changes that I've seen in my mom she's happier and she's calmer she used to suffer with anxiety and you know when she self-medicated she was more depressed and it and she kind of had a cloud over her and now um, she glows and she is just so cheerful and she's the most positive person I know and you, you've been outspoken about your own challenges with mental mm -hmm. health and how did it feel for you to watch your mom share 
her struggles with everyone? It feels, I feel very proud of her. You know, I know it's something that's not easy firsthand, being somebody that's struggled with mental illness and being open and talking about it. I know that it's not easy to be open with the world. And for her to share her story is something that I'm extremely proud of. And we want to congratulate you on six years sober. Thank you. Congrats. Awesome. And, and in order to do that, you got to start from somewhere. So if there's someone out there who's struggling with addiction or mental illness, what is your advice for them to get a start in, in get, making themselves better? I think the very first thing that you have to do is admit that you have a problem and then you have to ask for help. So I, you know, and you also have to know that it's possible. I, one of the reasons why I've stayed sober is because I want people to know that it is possible for you to get help and to recover. Um, it's something that's very important that people know that you're able to ask for help these days and people will help you. And, and, and Diana, do you have any advice for anyone who's out there who's struggling, who says, you know, I have to go pick up this book, Falling with Wings, I can relate to that. Do you have any advice for them as well? I, I would simply say reach out and get help wherever you can, from family, from friends, uh, from you know community programs, whatever you can do, reach out and get help because it is a good thing. And, and we've all you've acknowledged before that sometimes the resources aren't, aren't there for a lot of the people, a lot of people to get help. And I don't know, Demi, you were here a few weeks ago and you talked about working with Cast, which is trying to help people get help, help them get assistance at your concerts. Robin Roberts is even going to speak at a conference. Yes. So tell us a little bit more about that. So Cast is a treatment center that I co-own, and we have brought it on the road. So before the concerts, a couple hours before, um, if you sign up and you're going to the concert, you can come to this motivational speaking. And I'm so grateful that Robin is going to be doing it. She is somebody that's so inspirational, mm -hmm. and um, I love her to death. So I'm very grateful that she's coming. <laughs> Applaud and agree on all those things. And, and, and I, I must say, as I was saying to Diana, it's very personal to write a book and put, put it all out there and to do it to help other people. And I got to say, we're so grateful for both of you for coming here, for sharing this. And Diana, you and I bonded because you were a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. Yes, we shared that NFL thing. We got shared that NFL yes. thing, and you let me know that. And I got to say, I'm, I'm so proud of, of both of you. And congratulations, <laughs> Demi, our six year <laughs> with wings it is out now make sure you go pick it up well hey there gma fans robin roberts here thanks for checking out our youtube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from gma every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on gma